All right, well, I got into phase two of this uh, circuit I'm working on, and uh, this is the charging part of the circuit. And what happens is you come off of the collector on the transistor with a diode, and every time the coil collapses, it shoots out energy into a battery, and then you return it back to the system. I'm actually coming back into the positive of the battery, which is the way the Bedini circuits work. So this circuit, di isn't, circuit diagram is not quite right. But let me show you what I've, what I've done today. I'm still using a, a voltage regulator, uh, which takes the energy that's in that battery right there and drops it down to whatever I want. It's very, very handy. It'll handle up to 3 amps, and you can move these little dials around and adjust it right there to get whatever you want. The system's turned off right now. But I wanted to show you um, the dynamic of the charging on this circuit coming off of the transistor. And I'm using this uh, big tube again today. But what I found out today was you actually probably do better with a smaller tube in this charging because it'll produce more light than the bigger tube running at less light uh, when you're doing the charging, which is a very interesting phenomenon. So let me turn this on. I'll show show what's going on here. I've got my helper again here today. He's going to help me. Okay, there goes um, the uh, energy on the um, charging capacitor right there is loading up. And you can see it's actually under load there. It just came on. See the uh, bulb is on right now. Now the circuit's running, and I'm going to turn this off and let this build up some more. And there pops on the light. The light just popped on. There's the um, voltage on the capacitor coming off of the transistor down there. There's a diode that it comes off, and then it goes up into that capacitor, and the light is now on. But my draw on this system right now, I don't know if you can see that or not, is 8 volts. The white dot at the top there is 10, I'm sorry, is, is 12, and uh, it's drawn about 8 volts. And my amp draw right now is 180 milliamps, which is a lot less than that 750 that I showed last night. And the light is on. Now, it's not on bright, bright. But I have this basically in a charging mode right now to show the charging. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn, if I can do this two-handed here, I'm going to turn the capacitor back on and watch. There goes the light. There goes the voltage down on the capacitor. And this is what I was going for today. I wanted enough voltage under some kind of a resistance to go into that battery. And what you do is you crank up the potentiometer until you get it with enough voltage on it to put it in the battery. There it goes. Now that's enough voltage under load that that will go into that battery now. And that's what I was looking for. Now that's cost me on my amp draw. It went up to 20 uh, or 200 milliamps. But that's what I was looking for was these numbers right here, which is this capacitor loaded so that I could pump energy into that battery. And that's what I was going for. And still have the light on. Now that light's not on real bright. If I turn this off, I can get that to come on real bright. And there it goes. It's, it's trying. There it comes. Now that's on real bright now. You can see what the capacitor's doing. It's just going right on up. And that's loading up on the capacitor. But the downside is that costs me a lot of power to do the, the bright light and the charging at the same time. Now I'm up to 500 milliamps. 500, 600 milliamps. So this is one of those things that you get what you pay for. And you want the bright light, it's going to cost you. Or you want the big charging, it's going to cost you. But there's a happy medium. And that's where this little bulb here came in. I found out I can actually drive this bulb very bright and produce um, 
quite a bit of light out of that little tiny bulb and still not have a high amp draw. So that was what I worked on today. Just wanted to show show folks what I was doing here. And that is the, um, the energy that's in the capacitor draining down. But anyway, if you want light and you want low amperage on the uh, draw, it can be done with this circuit. You just got to play with it. It's the latest for today.